So now that we have the full stack actually ready to run, um, because we've run this part of the usage section inside our Angular full stack, we're going to try and make our first project. We're going to actually define what the project should be called and then we're going to install it. And I encourage you to follow along for this first project and just do what I'm doing and then you can make your own project after when, when you've seen just this simple setup. Now, the first thing I have to tell you is that instead of using the git bash, which I usually use, I have to use the command prompt because there's an issue, you can Google this yourself, there's an issue right now that the arrow keys are not responding properly in the git bash when you're using the yeoman command. Don't worry about it, just accept that we have to use the command prompt. So I'll open my search here and I'll find the command prompt. And in here I'll do, I'll go into the root and I'll find my JS web apps. And here I'll write the command that we have right here called make deer, mk deer. That's actually create a directory for me. So you could do it in the file explorer instead if you want that. I'll call this um, course planner, just to put in a name. I'll press enter and I'll go into that deer. By the way, I, I tap here if, if you haven't remembered that. I'll you know, write CO, which is the first letters here in the course. And I'll just tap once and it'll figure out the rest of it for me. That's how you can use that. Then it says you need to write yo angular full stack and then a name of your application. So we're going to call this course planner like this. Okay, I press enter and I'll be asked a whole lot of questions. So let's just pull this over so you can actually see everything. Is it okay that you try to send some information back to Yeoman? Yes, of course. I want Yeoman to be even pow more powerful than what it is right now. So here's actually where if you use the git bash, you won't be able to do what I'm doing here. I'm just pressing up and down on my mouse, uh, sorry, on, on my arrow keys here. And if you're not using command prompt right now, this might fail. So that's why I'm using the command prompt and not the git bash, just so you know. So if this, the arrow cannot move up and down using your arrow key, then you have to convert and use command prompt instead. So I select HTML here. Now, since I want us to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in this course, we're going to do CSS here. Now, SAS is actually the new guy out there, and I encourage you to read up on SAS when you get used to writing CSS, because it's a lot more powerful. You can do some cool things, but right now we'll keep CSS. Here we have a question if you want to use the default routing system that Angular provides, or a UI router system that a third part has created for us on the NPM. We'll use, uh, sorry, on the Bower setup. So we'll use UI, UI router. Do you want to use Bootstrap? Bootstrap is um, a tool out there that Twitter made, uh, and it's pretty much giving you a huge library of JavaScript and CSS files that makes you it easy for you to generate a pretty good looking page with a few sing symbol um, classes and commands inside your um, inside your HTML. So yeah, we want to use that for this course. We'll change it later. Do you want to use UI Bootstrap? That's just an extension for this. Yes, we want to use that as well. Do you want to use a Mongo database using Mongoose? Or do you want to use some kind of SQLizer for MySQL, SQLite, MariaBeerian, and Postgres? We are going to use Mongoose for the Mongo database. I wanted this mean stack. So that's a Mongo database. Do you want to add boilerplate for authentication. Yeah, I want to do that as well. And then you can extend that for Google, Facebook, and Twitter if you want to. Let's not put that in there right now. But now you can log in, you get a full featured login system with the rest of it. So let's continue. Do you want to use Socket.io? Yeah, well, I promised you guys that I wanted to show you real-time communication. So we'll add that as well. And then for your testing, we're not going to do unit testing right in this course. We might later. So I'll ask at Jasmine. That's the one I'm most comfortable with. Don't worry about it for now. And then it'll start doing things. 